Hey guys, it's Tanz here, and this is a tutorial on how to fix any problems with any key that you have, and to basically some best practices uh, when using it and syncing to the web. First off, um, in order to make a backup of any of, of all of my decks, I use the uh, simple export function. File, export, and make sure that I have all decks and include scheduling information and include media. I export that. This is just the most sure way to make a reliable backup that can be brought back in very easily. It automatically does backups, which you can use. This is just easier for me. The other ones work too, but uh, again, this is easier for me. Uh, the other ones do not use their own images. So if you restore from a backup of the other ones and you've deleted images, it won't work properly. So by exporting the entire library, you get your images and your decks and your scheduling information all exported. So we got that taken care of. Go ahead and close Anki. Find the Anki file and documents and there the Anki folder. Copy it, paste it in here, and then or any in any other location, the name it Anki.back. It's your backup of your Anki folder just to make sure if, if anything goes wrong. Then we'll go ahead and go to the uh, programs and features, which you can get to from virtually 10 different locations on uh, in Windows. From the control panel, programs and features. And then we'll take Anki and we'll uninstall it. As you will see, and the, where the Anki folder is still there, this has add-ons information, user information, it doesn't delete anything when you uninstall it. I want to get rid of all of that. I have a backup of it. I just made a copy of that folder. Um, and I also exported my all of my decks, so I'm good to go there. Uh, then we're going to want to reinstall Anki by downloading it from the web. I've already downloaded it. Find that, install Anki again. Yeah. And uh, you'll see that once it's installed, it's basically the same thing that it used to be, uh, that like downloading a brand new Anki. If you've ever upgraded Anki, it's reinstalling it, but it's not getting rid of your Anki folder. This gets rid of your Anki folder. Here you have brand new Anki. It even made me select a new language. It set me up with a brand new profile called user. Um, you can rename that or do whatever you want. I'll do that later. I'm gonna go ahead and install my add-ons before I import my decks and this will come from because uh, I just I, this is the only add-on I use actually but so then I have the add-on I'm installing the add-on okay close open Anki like I just did like it told me to do Import import the deck that you the collection that you exported originally. It will erase everything on there and replace it with what you exported. Make sure everything looks good as to what it used to look like. You can always save your Anki.back folder if you like, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna delete that here in a second. So basically some other things you want to do to make sure it all goes well in the future. You want to make sure, this is critical, that you, um, when you go to prep, oops, that you choose preferences. And with image occlusion, if that's what you're using, do not automatically sync profile on open and close. The images that are stored in image occlusion via the Q, image QA card, it has one image here for the original image. As you'll see in the SVG, nothing there. Answer, nothing there. What this is is a CSS overlay, which takes up much less, it's a bitmap, which takes up much less information. The file size is way smaller than this, and it puts it on top of the, the PNG image. About half, this makes the overall card itself about half the size, but 
because if you have tons of cards you don't want to have, it just gets to be enormous. Basically by saving this, I mean not that there were, there were other problems with the other way of doing it as well, but this introduced a different problem and so while solving other problems, which is that sometimes the CSS and bitmaps do not correlate properly to um, the servers. What will make it work more properly is if you do what I said and do not automatically sync back and forth. Every time before you do a sync, you do a file export collection. That way you have a, a immediate quick backup to go to. And then you do maintenance and you always are doing full syncs between the servers and your devices. This will and check database every now and then too. I don't know why. I just I don't even know really what it does, but I do it. <laughs> I'll find out in the future. I do the same thing with the uh, with the uh, super memo, which um, I really like actually. Um, there you have it. Follow those steps. All your problems will be solved. Make sure you make a backup before you do anything crazy. Like, I mean, I know syncing to the server sounds pretty easy and natural, should work perfect every time, but it doesn't. There's problems. And the, and, and the other times, you know, say like you're working on your phone, you had your computer thing open, you do some questions on your phone, you do some on your computer, and then try to close both, and then they start trying to sync and something goes wrong. Full syncs will prevent that from happening by forcing you to choose prior to syncing which device you're going to be getting the information from. And several other problems are solved by doing that as well. Anyways, good luck. Good luck studying. And uh, keep it up.